Well, look, uh, you, you make a powerful point. I, here, here's, let's understand what, what is going to be at stake in this election. John McCain's campaign manager says it's about personalities. And what he really means is he wants to make this campaign about biography. And, and let me say this. I mean, being a POW for six years, it's extraordinary. I mean, the, the courage and the resilience that John McCain showed, you know, nobody disputes that. We all honor it. And, and, and we all admire it. But for me, and I think for you, the measure of the next president is how effectively is he going to help make your lives better? How well is he going to help create new jobs? Does he have any idea about what the new jobs of the future are going to be? Does he have a sense of how we have to re-educate uh, or, or reform our, our education system so that every child has real opportunity? You know, does he have a plan to make sure that more people have health care? Does he have a plan to rebuild our infrastructure so that we're competitive in the future? And does he have a plan to make sure that the thumbs are not on the scale of big business all the time? I mean, you talk about the drug companies. Listen, if it hadn't been for the drug company lobbyists, then we would have a lot more money in the system to pr provide prescription drug coverage to seniors. If it hadn't been for these banks resisting reforms, including some of the reforms that I called for a couple of years ago, we would not see the same kind of uh, mortgage situation and collapse that we've been seeing. So that ultimately is my definition of putting country first, is making sure that every single American can live out their American promise, can live out their American dream. Uh, and you know, frankly, the last eight years, what we've seen is moving in reverse. We've been moving in reverse. When Bill Clinton was president, the average family income went up $7,500. $7,500. Since George Bush has been president, you know what it's done? It's gone down $2,000. Think about that. That's a $9,500 swing. $9,500. That's money out of your pocket. That's money going out of this country because we're borrowing it from China to send to Saudi Arabia to buy oil. That's what's add, added $4 trillion to our deficit. I mean, think about that. Now, so we're, we've created a mountain of debt for the next generation that they're going to have to pay off. This little guy, he's not too worried about it right now. <laughs> but you know, we've created $30,000 worth of debt for every man, woman, and child in America. That's going to have to be paid back. That's my definition of, of, of putting country first is making sure that we are safe, not hesitating to strike against our enemies, but it also means making our economy strong because ultimately if our economy is strong, then our military will be strong and we will be able to secure our homeland for many years to come. All right.